and for a pretty decent price. And I think a lot of people avoid these. And I think it's something that a lot of people should pick up. <music> Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth cabin here and today I sold a type of item that I haven't sold in a long long time. I used to sell these all the time and then I just kind of stopped for a few different reasons we'll talk about in just a minute when I show you what's sold. But I want to get something given away today so if you hang around to the end of the show well, uh, or somewhere in the show, I'm not sure where it'll be, probably the end, we'll put this giveaway here and see who won these coasters from Two Girls Picking. And I want to talk about an item that I just started listing. I've started listing a bunch of them. And so far, the very first thing I listed sold fairly quickly. A lot of them are going to be long tail type items, but this one sold fairly quickly and for a pretty decent price. And I think a lot of people avoid these. And I think it's something that a lot of people should pick up. And right now they're avoiding them, but there's pretty good money in it. Anyway, thanks for joining us. And we're going to take a look at what's sold. I right, sold one of these yesterday. Yesterday we sold a JVC adapter, a little power charger. Actually, some of them are chargers. This is just an adapter for the Sony Handycam. And this one sold for $10.95 plus shipping. So the other one went for $14.95 plus shipping. So that's a little bit better. But I'm happy to sell these, these OEM things, and they sell pretty quick. Both of these were from items that tested out and didn't work. I had like, I don't know, 15 or so camcorders and that type of stuff. And all, I think, but two of them worked, and these are the parts and pieces that I'm selling off. And while we're at it, the JVC batteries that went with that charger yesterday, they sold as well. I, I think it's better. Here's why I do this. I think it's better to sell them separate. So if, if I were to put these batteries with that JVC charger, it would have gone into priority mail and would not have been first class. There are tons of people out there who have the charger, who need batteries. There are tons of people out there who have the batteries that need the charger, but there are very few people out there that need the battery and the charger, so that's a tough sell. Sometimes breaking things apart help you sell. So yesterday's video we talked about putting things together to help you sell them, and today I'm telling you about an item that is better if you separate it. So think logically out there and just think, hey, who would need this? Are people more likely to want this thing together? Are people more likely to want this thing apart? And in the case of these camcorders, the batteries apart from the chargers are usually the way to go. I don't think I told you, $12.95. It's a free shipper. And it, the batteries are kind of heavy, but they're definitely going to be first class. More than likely, they're going to be about eight ounces, and I'll put them in a small four by four by four box. I might even put them in a padded poly. I think that's maybe what I'll do with them. All right, here's the item that I'm talking about. It's a Rainbow SE, and I think the canister model that goes with it is a D, D4C or DC4. I can't remember. I've sold it a few times. I actually sold two of these last summer. Sometimes I'll sell them all together. I think I've made a couple of mistakes in parting out. In retrospect, I'll have to go back in and fix that. I put two items together in one lot. I think I should have pulled it apart. But at any rate, just for shipping purposes, it made it a little too big to get under that dimensional size that you want to keep the cost of shipping down. But that's another story for another day. This is the first item I listed off of it. I had a full set. I had a full set with three hoses and three different attachments on it. Had the caddy, had the wheels, had the motor itself. Everything's working well. It is a little bit in rough shape. I had my oldest boy clean this thing up. He did an okay job on it. Not as good a job as I would have done, but <laughs> that's all right. And this thing is tested out and working. It has a little bit of scuffing here, but nothing too terribly bad for these type old machines. And this thing right here sold for 50 bucks. Sold for 50 bucks plus shipping. So I paid 20 for the whole set, everything in it. So this one right here is going to give us, after fees and after everything, about a $20 profit, just a little bit more than that actually. And then every other piece that I sell over the next, hopefully over the next month, some of these items are going to be long tail and they'll hang around for a while. All of those things are going to be pure profit. So, hey, this is what you should be looking for. Look for the rainbows. Look for the Electroluxes. There's a bunch of other ones out there. I think Majestic, I think, is the other one. I've sold that a bunch of times. There are three or four more. Definitely worth selling, but you got to kind of know who you are. Are you the type of person who's going to throw that in a pile and just ignore it forever and it becomes a giant mess? If that's you, just don't pick them up. 
If you have the discipline and the wherewithal to sell big items, to part things out, to test them, to clean them, to deal with things that you get that end up not working, if that's you, you can get some pretty darn good money for this kind of stuff if you're willing to put in the work. So right here, I mean, 50 bucks plus shipping, I love it. All right, I have a double here, and this is going to a viewer, and he bought, looks like, two Grateful Dead. I, should, I always say Grateful Dead. They're not. They're Jerry Garcia twisted radio waves cds and he bought two of these eight dollars and 95 cents free shipping and then an Inaman in there as well and he writes a little note and says thank you for all your great content we enjoy watching you and your family congratulations on your one year anniversary we just passed one year with our ebay store treasures for the number four treasures for trips Oh, I love it. See you out there saving for a trip. So for you part-timers out there, do you use eBay just to save money for a particular thing? Do you never spend the money you make on eBay? A lot of people out there that I know do it really part-time, sell their own stuff, and then they make it as like a Christmas account. At the end of the year, they have a bunch of money saved up from selling off their own things, and they use it to pay for Christmas. That's a great little Christmas account right there. A lot of people just save that money just for their trips, for their vacations. I've heard of people doing eBay and putting all the money into retirement. That's awesome as well. We don't do that. I wish we were fortunate enough to do that. We do this to survive. And I don't mean that we're starving. We're not starving. All I'm saying is that I'm a teacher. So I don't make, I'm a teacher in the state of Virginia in a rural community. I don't make very much money at all. So eBay is a way for us to make quite a bit extra money. And my wife can stay with our kids and we can live the kind of life that we want to live. So let me know in the comments if you use eBay for any particular things other than taking the money and using it to spend on bills and food and all those normal things. At any rate, let me finish what he says. See, I get sidetracked. He says, and we have learned so much from you, Cliff and Terry from Texas. So Cliff and Terry, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And we've got all this stuff headed off your way. All right, this is a really cool sale. So I have an acquaintance of mine who does dumpster diving, and they found these in a dumpster. So I don't do much dumpster diving up here where I live. I've even been chased out trying to find boxes in a couple of dumpsters when I go into Lynchburg. You know, there's no trespassing signs. I've had a police officer pull up on me before, and I'm like, I'm just trying to get a box. I had store managers come out and chase me out of there, and I'm trying to get a box. I'm like, well, I don't know about dumpster diving around this place, but at any rate... I have an acquaintance who does some dumpster diving somewhere else. They occasionally find some things and say, hey, you want this stuff? Because they know I have antique booths. And a lot of times I can use some of that stuff to package up some older stuff, some jars with lids and that type of thing that we like to put things in. I think we just had corks. We put corks in jars and put lids on them. We put little toy animals in jars. We put board game pieces in jars and we sell them off in our antique booth, so the jars help. So when they find that kind of stuff, they come and get me. And they found a whole ton of greeting cards, and I'm like, yeah, I think I'll take these. We were thinking about putting them in the antique booth and saying, hey, because they're Father's Day cards. We had Mother's Day cards too, but the uh, booths weren't open. And just saying, hey, if you buy something, you can have a free Father's Day card. We're giving it to the ladies who own the antique mall in there and saying, hey, would you like to give these away on the counter to guests that come in? Something like that. But in the end, I decided to look up the papyrus ones because these are really nice cards. I'm like, these are going to sell on eBay. We can give the other ones away if need be. And sure enough, they sell pretty well. I have sold greeting cards before, so I kind of thought they would. And I think this is a lot of like 22 or something. I can't remember what it was. I don't have it pulled up, but I know what it sold for. It sold for $29. $29 plus shipping on these greeting cards. And they're not even very heavy, so they're going to ship out over first class, but under the two pound rate for sure. So that's a pretty nice little deal right there. It's a nice little profit of about $26 or so on a free item that was given to us by a dumpster diver. All right, I'm gonna take you over here. I want you to take a look at a gift that somebody sent us and it's another license plate. All right, so here we go. This is the Mayflower Merchant. I love that name. And it's a nice little note here from them and they they give us some really kind words right here. And I think they say here, see, this is from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and I do think it completes the set. So Virginia obviously is a Commonwealth. Pennsylvania is a Commonwealth. Kentucky is a commonwealth, and Massachusetts is a commonwealth. So the spirit of America, a little red, white, and blue, should fit in nicely here. I would probably put it right here, I think, but I'm not going to because I don't have a Massachusetts plate, 
and we're going to go ahead and put it back here. I think maybe we'll put it, I'm thinking maybe right there or right there, possibly right there, or I have a new tub right here that needs one. So thank you so much for the Massachusetts plate. We do appreciate it. And let me go check the name over here and make sure I give a proper thank you. So it is Sharon. Sharon, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And I can't wait to put it up. All right. Initially, we had 64 of these. We bought a box. We bought two boxes of them for 10 bucks. And I took one day to list them all. And we've been selling them off bit by bit. And that one day, that one box in that one day is going to profit almost $500. Um, a lot of them sold for quite a bit. Some of them didn't sell for very much, but here's a good example of, a, of an average one, $9.41 plus shipping on this. So you figure it's around an $8 profit. It's a little bit more than that, but we'll say it's an $8 profit on this item and we had 64. So there you go. You can do the math. We made some pretty darn good money on that lot. And I just counted up there. We have 16 left out of the original 64. So really good don't overlook this stuff you know it's worth looking up it depends you know if you've got tons of great opportunities out there to source which we usually don't where i live now i just i just checked the treasure map out there and there are two sales within 30 miles any direction here so pretty big radius there's nothing out there right now for us to look at unfortunately we're going to need to travel i think in order to get some at some point because I have just reached the end of my death pile, which I'm really, really happy about. I didn't source on purpose so we would get to the bottom of that death pile because I don't think I've been to the bottom of my death pile in about 12 years, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right, here's a great little bolo right here, the Casio G-Shock. There's different models. This one happens to not be one of the best and it needs a new battery. It was working, it's not working. I almost went and got one and dealt with it. I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna sell it because I don't have much else to sell. And I decided to list it, it sold for $30 plus shipping. So different G-Shocks can go for a bunch of money. I've sold three or four in the past. I don't come across them very often. I remember the sale I bought this at. It was an incredibly overpriced yard sale. But as I was leaving, I saw a G-Shock on the table and I cringed. I almost hesitated to even ask her how much it was. But I picked it up and looked at it. I'm like, hey, it's in all right shape. And I looked in the back and it had a 50 cent price tag on it. I'm like, 50 cents? She's like, yep. I gave her the 50 cents and was astonished that I could get out of that sale with an item that I could make money on because most everything at that sale was overpriced, at least overpriced for me to resell on eBay. So, you know, overpriced is in the eye of the beholder, I suppose. If, if I was trying to sell the things that I sell on eBay at a garage sale, people would be like, are you crazy? But I'm glad I could get 30 bucks plus shipping for the G-Shock. Casio G-Shocks. If you don't know about them, you should. Most of you longtime resellers out there know about them. They're pretty good and you can find them every now and again. All right, we got an in man going out to Susan and one going out to Willie. And Willie says, Kevin, you and your family are truly an inspiration. I began watching your show back in November along with Commonwealth Picker. <laughs> no, CP. Along with Cincinnati Picker. See, I tell people sometimes they put CP for me. You know, John, I think, is CP, y'all. See? I mean Cincinnati picker so I, I always sign things CWP <laughs> just so we know who we're talking about here so along with Cincinnati picker garage flips and others my wife and I started reselling part-time and we enjoy it we were planning to start our own YouTube channel as well but delayed due to the uh, C word yeah however we will be starting in the near future bargain resellers so it hasn't started yet if it's up and running maybe you can subscribe I don't know if it is or not so getting two in a man one to display and one we will give away when we reach a thousand subscribers so can you autograph them for us god bless you and all of yours sean and shauna sean and shauna i like that anyway there's two of them i better make sure i get two of them in the package today and we wish you the best of luck with youtube and we certainly are glad you're watching it and we wish you the best with ebay and we hope this guy gets things moving for you thanks so much hey last but not least in here have you noticed whenever i use black my face goes, that doesn't look quite as bad today at any rate, uh, Polo Sport. This is the Uncle Dave lot. The free lot of clothes from Uncle Dave. Love free. Can't beat free. Oh, there it goes. I saw it come in. Anyway, you certainly can't beat free. $9.95 plus shipping. I think there were four of this type and two of these identical. So this one I was able to list as a quantity of two. So, hey, it's an $8 profit on this, an $8.50 profit on a really easy item. And you know what? You can't break it.
All right, see if we can go out there really quick and do a giveaway and see who wins those coasters from Two Girls Picking. But I'm going to say goodbye right now. So thank you, as always, for joining us. We really appreciate you guys coming in each and every day. And we will see you next time. That cat does not want to be held, does she? No. Now she wants out. <laughs> hey, we have two homeschool hustler sales. And who is that, Reagan? Cindy Lou Who. That's Cindy Lou Who. Turner, do you Hi. like Dr. Seuss? Do you like, what's your, what's one of your favorite movies? Of like that Dr. Seuss made? Mm-hmm. The Grinch. The Grinch. How, How many favorite? times do you think you've watched The Grinch? He's watched it in the summer before. Oh, yeah. He's he watched watches it, like, you know, yeah. The Grinch in yeah. July, don't you, buddy? Yeah. You and, love uh, it. Which I one? Like, I like the third one the best. The second is the second, and the fourth is the fourth. The first is the first, the cartoon classic version, yeah, the third huh? Third is the best. And then the one with Jim Carrey is the second, and you like the third the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's a uh, like uh, it's not cartoon. Oh my goodness. Hi. Oh my, she wants she up wants there. Up there again. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna get this little thing down, and then we'll get back to this. <laughs> She's a little. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, so Reagan, that sold for $18.95, and I think that was in the batch that you took pictures of. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. Look at that thing. You press its stomach. And that came from that auction of plush that we are just killing it on. I didn't think, I thought we did just something fun to do and thought I'd make like 70 bucks for her and make like 200. So anyway, Turner, that came from the Mount Plush Marcel and it's Cabbage Patch and you got it upside down, I think. But that's all right, don't worry about it. And it's Tommy or Tommy. It just has little templates inside, and you can make a little uh, storybook out of it. So that's not the best Cabbage Patch item in the world, but it sold. took forever to sell for $10 plus shipping, and that is enough to get y'all a dollar to... Save a dollar to spend and a dollar to donate. <laughs> that's right, y'all. Thanks for joining me today. It's earlier in the day today. That's why mm -hmm. Turner's got his sunglasses on, don't you? Mm -hmm. Turner, we need to get you a Titleist hat, and then we can put them sunglasses on top of your head. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, <I do. laughs> Oh, jeez. All right, thank y'all. Bye. All right, so over here, we'll just give you an update on the Mount Plushmore with that little storybook kit. $1,643. I think I estimated like $1,400, so we have made definitely made more than that. And here is our new sticker that Reagan helped me with. And we couldn't decide if we wanted to put it on the store just, you know, a couple stickers for a couple bucks and just ship them out with a stamp. But I think we decided for now, we're just going to put one in every package that a viewer buys. <laughs> hey, we already filmed and shipped something off. Do you remember doing that Cabbage Patch stuff with uh, yeah. me? Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize, but a viewer bought that. One of our favorite viewers been with us a long time named Mary Beth. Would you tell her thank you? Thank you, Mary Beth. Oh, look at y'all. Even right on time there. Good job. See y'all later. Bye. All right, we are going to pick a winner for Emmy Sue's Car Coasters, Commonwealth Picker Car Coasters. And that's coming from Two Girls Picking. And let's go take a look. All right, and as it picks the winner, send me an email. And I'll tell you what you need to do and send me your address. And we'll get them right out to Jessica Davis, Two Girls Picking. Yeah, Two Girls Picking. Close enough. Kevin, I always admire your cabin and cave. And your kids are darling. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And they're not too bad. They take after their mama. All right. Thanks so much. Send me an email.